Hello everyone. It's nice to see you again. In this video, we will solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions. Let's start with this problem. Matt loves drinking fresh fruit shake. Today, he bought four-fifths kilogram of ripe mangoes to make mango shakes for his family. If he used only two-thirds of the mangoes he bought, how many kilograms of mango did he use in all? Now let us analyze the problem. Remember, in analyzing a problem we do these steps. First, think and try to understand it by knowing what is asked in the problem. Once we understood what is asked, then, we must know the given information that will help us solve the problem. From here, we plan, meaning, we formulate our equation. Finally, we solve. Now, in this problem, we are asked to find the number of kilograms of mango Matt used for the fruit shakes. Then. We are given that he only used two thirds of the mangoes he bought, and how many mangoes did he buy? He bought four fifths kilogram of mangoes. So, for us to answer this problem, we need to know what two thirds of four fifths is. In two thirds of four fifths, this of here is a keyword for multiplication. Therefore, our equation will be two thirds times four fifths equals n. Recall that in multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. So, we'll have 2 times 4 is 8. And, 3 times 5 is 15. 8 fifteenths is a proper fraction, so regrouping is not necessary. Also, 8 fifteenths is already in its simplest form. Therefore, Matt used 8 fifteenths kilogram of mangoes. Let's try another example. The recipe for making a cake calls for four cups of flour. Drina will only prepare one half of the recipe. How many cups of flour will she use? In this problem, we are asked to find the number of cups of flour Trina will use in baking the cake. It is said in the problem that she will prepare only one half of the recipe. In the original recipe, four cups of flour are required. That means, we need to find one half of four. Recall that in multiplying a fraction and a whole number, we multiply the whole and the numerator. So, we will have, one times four. That is four. Then, we copy the denominator to, four halves is an improper fraction, so we need to regroup, four divided by two is two. Thus, Trina will use two cups of flour. This problem can easily be answered as well if we will use an illustration. Say these are the four cups of flour. If we get half of these, which is this part, then, we will have two cups. For our third problem, a cupcake recipe calls for five cups of flour. If Mrs. Dizen will prepare four and one-third servings of the recipe, how much flour will she need? This problem is almost the same as problem number two. In this problem, however, we are asked to find four and one-third of five. Recall that in multiplying fractions, all mixed numbers should be rewritten first as improper fractions before we can proceed with multiplication. So, let us rewrite 4 and 1 third. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, that is 13. Copy the denominator, that gives us 13 thirds. Now we have a whole and a fraction. So, let's multiply the whole and the numerator. That is, 13 times 5 we'll have 65. Then copy the denominator 3. 65 over 3 is an improper fraction, so we need to regroup. 65 divided by 3. That is 21 with a remainder of 2. Recall that the quotient will be the whole, the remainder will be the numerator. Then, we copy the denominator. We now have, 21 and 2 thirds. Since 2 thirds is already in its simplest form, we can now say that Mrs. Dizen will prepare 21 and 2 thirds cups of flour. For our last example, Mary has 6,000 pesos. She spent one sixth of her money to buy a bag and another one third to buy a pair of shoes. How much money did she spend in all? In this problem, we are asked to find the total amount of money Mary spent in all. And to help us answer this, we are given that Mary used one sixth of her money to buy a bag and one third to buy a pair of shoes. We are also given that she has 6,000 pesos. We may start our solution by adding first one sixth and one third. 
This will help us know the total fraction of her money used to buy the bag and the pair of shoes. Recall that we can only add fractions if they are similar. So let us change these fractions into similar fractions. Using the butterfly method, we will have 3 eighteenths and 6 eighteenths. Adding these two fractions, we'll have 3 plus 6. That is, 9. Copy the common denominator. 18. 9 eighteenths can still be simplified. Using the continuous division method, we may start dividing these two numbers by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. 3 and 6 can still be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. That means, one half of her money was spent. But, we're not done yet. We still need to find one half of 6,000. So let us multiply one half and 6,000. One times 6,000 is 6,000. Then, copy two. This is an improper fraction, so let us regroup. 6,000 divided by two, will give us 3,000. Therefore, Mary spent 3,000 pesos in all. This problem is an example of a multi-step word problem since it involves more than one operation. Now, let me show you an alternative solution to this problem. Instead of adding the fractions first, we may start with identifying what one-sixth of six thousand is and what one-third of six thousand is. So, we will have one-sixth times six thousand. That will give us six thousand over six or one thousand. On the other hand, one third of six thousand is equal to six thousand over three or two thousand. This tells us that one thousand was spent on bag and two thousand was spent on a pair of shoes. Adding these two, will give us three thousand. Therefore, Mary spent three thousand pesos in all. This is the same answer as what we had earlier. And that ends our lesson for today. Should you have any questions related to the topic discussed in this video, comment them down below. I will try to respond to you as soon as possible.